At the North Coast School of Education, optimism and energy abounds in classes where new teachers acquire skills and a pathway to the classroom. But just below the surface, many, if not most, of these young educators are consumed with a common worry, how to find housing in one of the most expensive real estate markets in the nation. Uh, there's times I definitely feel like we made a mistake or like it would be easier to move back to the Midwest. It would be so much easier. Eric Klaus and his family moved here five years ago from Illinois and have rented and struggled to pay the bills ever since. Their story is typical of young teachers we talk to in a county where the average home requires a large down payment and an income of $150,000 a year they feel left out. We did a survey of our staff and about 40 percent have thought of or looked at leaving the area and these are our primarily teachers with less than 10 years experience. Faced with the prospect of losing teachers to less costly areas, Harrington has led the County Office of Education to embark on a bold approach to partner with public housing agencies to turn these three acres of land into subsidized housing for new teachers. Housing costs in this county are about 700000 for housing, and for a teacher to qualify for housing, they need $150,000 for down payment. So knowing those figures, it's just very challenging. None of this is news to teachers we talk to, like Maddie Thorson. And I feel let down because this is my this is my hometown county. My whole family is here, and I feel like I am being pushed out when all I want to do is stay rooted um, where I have always grown up. For many young teachers, housing stability is out of reach or requires a bit of luck. For Nicole Ochoa, her boyfriend's real estate earnings allowed them to purchase a condo. So I wouldn't be able to be a homeowner or be in any position that I am without his income. And I know that, and that's not a great feeling, um, but I do feel lucky. For Jared Brown, an inheritance, not income, allowed him to purchase his first starter home. It's, it's sort of the stability that I don't think we would have had otherwise, and it's afforded both of us a little bit of peace of mind that the things we want to pursue that are our passions, we don't have to make the uncomfortable decisions to balance. Will we be able to raise a family here? What are we ever going to do about housing? For most teachers we talk to, though, teaching here means living paycheck to paycheck and putting off life steps that are considered routine elsewhere. So I know Idaho and Oregon, I would only take a $3,000 a year pay cut, but um, I can buy a home for a beautiful brand new home for $250,000. Once the program's finished, I'm actually leaving yeah. so that I can buy a home. Yeah. It's just, you know, unfortunate when you're in your late 20s, early 30s, and you can't afford to live by yourself, and you know, you're trying to gain this independence, but at the same time, you know, it's impossible to do anything on your own in this area. For the county schools, the issue of recruiting, even keeping new teachers, is becoming critical. The hope is if development here is successful, the model can be replicated, perhaps in the city of Santa Rosa. But for young teachers, the help cannot come too soon. Other people my age with my income can afford to have a small starter home with a yard um, and to have some equity and I do not have that and I work my butt off and I, and I don't have it and, and I don't feel like I ever will if I stay in this county. And that's a problem because all agree quality education and educators are critical to the region's future. In Sonoma County, Carl Van Amberg for News of the North Bay.